Find all angles in the domain where theta is between 0 and 2 pi that satisfy the given equation. Write the general solution. In part A, solve cosecant theta equals 1 half by graphing and finding the points of intersection. If we draw the graph of y equals cosecant theta and y equals 1 half, we can see that there are no intersection points. Therefore, there is no solution. Alternatively, solve sine theta equals 2. If we draw the graph of y equals sine theta and y equals 2, we can see that there are no intersection points. Therefore, there is no solution. In part b, solve cosecant theta equals undefined by graphing and finding the points of intersection. If we draw the graph of y equals cosecant theta, we can see that there are vertical asymptotes at 0, pi, and 2 pi. The solution for theta is between 0 and 2 pi is 0, pi, and 2 pi. The general solution is theta equals n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Alternatively, solve sine theta equals 0. If we draw the graph of y equals sine theta and y equals 0, we get intersection points at 0, pi, and 2 pi. This is the same result we obtained above. In part c, solve secant theta equals 2 by graphing and finding the points of intersection. If we draw the graph of y equals secant theta and y equals 2, we can see that there are two intersection points at pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. The solution for theta is between 0 and 2 pi is pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. The general solution is theta equals pi over 3 plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers, and theta equals 5 pi over 3 plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Alternatively, solve cos theta equals 1 half. If we draw the graph of y equals cos theta and y equals 1 half, we can see that there are two intersection points at pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. This is the same result we found above. In part d, solve secant theta equals negative 1 by graphing and finding the points of intersection. If we draw the graph of y equals secant theta and y equals negative 1, we can see that there is one intersection point at pi. The solution for theta is between 0 and 2 pi is theta equals pi. The general solution is theta equals pi plus n times 2 pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Alternatively, solve cos theta equals negative 1. If we draw the graph of y equals cos theta and y equals negative 1, we can see that there is one intersection point at pi. This is the same result we found above. In part e, solve cotan theta equals root 3 over 3 by graphing and finding the points of intersection. If we draw the graph of y equals cotan theta and y equals root 3 over 3, we can see that there are intersection points at pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3.
The solution for theta is between 0 and 2 pi is theta equals pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. The general solution is theta equals pi over 3 plus n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Alternatively, solve tan theta equals 3 over root 3. If we draw the graph of y equals tan theta and y equals 3 over root 3, we can see that there are intersection points at pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. This is the same result we found above. In part f, solve cotan theta equals 0 by graphing and finding the points of intersection. If we draw the graph of y equals cotan theta and y equals 0, we can see that there are intersection points at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. This is the same result we found above. The solution for theta is between 0 and 2 pi is theta equals pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. The general solution is theta equals pi over 2 plus n pi, where n belongs to the set of integers. Alternatively, solve tan theta equals undefined. If we draw the graph of y equals tan theta, the graph is undefined at pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. This is the same result we found above.